Some players seem to be able to give their pieces magical powers. An invisible force seems to unite the pieces, and even if one, two or more of them are hanging or have to be sacrificed, the power of the remaining pieces easily compensate this. A classic example for such a dynamic is the game Rodelwai against Rubenstein. The chess of Akiba Rubenstein was clear and logical and has inspired generations of chess players. But Rubenstein's life was tragic. Akiba Rubenstein is arguably the greatest player to have never become world champion. His tournament victories in 1911 marked one of the most dominant years by any chess player. In this game against a fellow Polish player, he reeled off one of the most inspiring combinations of all time. Everyone wishes they could play a game that they can call their own Mona Lisa. Some kind of masterpiece that they can truly be proud of. Rubinstein created it with this game. Although Rubinstein is typically known for his endgame and technical prowess, here he puts one of the greatest combinations in chess history on display. Starting on the black side of a symmetrical opening, he gradually outplays his opponent, gaining several tempi and transforming that into a fearsome attack. Check out how he made it happen. Hey everyone! If you enjoy the content on my YouTube channel, I do greatly appreciate your support. Please consider giving a thumbs up to the videos you like and hitting the subscribe button to stay updated with future content. Your likes and follows help the channel grow and motivate me to create more valuable content for you. Thank you for being part of our community. And now is everything ready to show you this game. Hello Peter, are you ready? Yes, hello, my name is Petr Koutny and I am ready to show this beautiful game and up to me, one of the most beautiful chess game ever. With white pieces is playing George Rotlevy and with black pieces is playing great Akiba Rubinstein. This game was played on a 197 and we saw first nine moves. Nothing special happened, I think that this is a typical, normal middle game position. And now white played first bad move. He played queen d2 and it's really interesting to follow this game because you will see how is danger in a chess to waste a time, to waste a move because this was a really bad move and queen on d2 uh, Sooner or later, we'll have the we'll have feeling that this is not great square for this queen. But you will see a queen e7. That's a better move. And bishop d3 probably second mistake. And now it's good to understand that every wasted chess move um, should bring problems because. First was queen d2, second bishop d3, and now uh, let's watch sequence of this move. Uh, black took on c4, and with tempo b5, gain a space. Now rook d8, and of course, queen on d2, it's not feeling safe because this rook is looking directly to bishops on d3 and queen on d2, and for this reason, white's queen has to go to e2 and that's another lost move. You know, bishop b7 and short castle, knight e5. It's good to watch these two dangerous blacks bishop. Without any doubt, you don't need to be grandmaster to understand that black will start attack against white king really soon. So these two dangerous Black's bishops are giving us advice how this game will will go on. So okay, even uh, White took on e5 and now played a4 with hope that uh, this bishop is blocked and maybe he is right. But after move e4 and rook c8, the difference between black pieces. Um, 
which are ready for a fight and you know doing good job and different between white pieces still lazy watching this game and not doing a great job is the reason why i believe that the black's chances are higher and after move e5 you know what's happened let's watch this beautiful and dangerous bishop on b7 and what about this bishop um is blocked of course behind his pawn but not forever because if this bishop is going to b6 as another beautiful diagonal and you know two dangerous bishops doing great job and white king has a big big problems of course e5 and now check and knight g4 that's a good move because this knight is uh, challenging white king you know first threat check on f2 but second threat after queen h4 is finally checkmate on h2 and now it's good to see first variation say if uh, white is taking this knight is losing bishop not for nothing for knight but white's um, activity even increased okay second variation here is knight e4 unfortunately for white this move doesn't stop black's attack because queen h4 and we know that this is a deadly threat checkmate on h2 h3 looks like white stopped everything but he is wrong if you believe that all danger is gone because right now black should sack a rook that's a beautiful move do you agree and here um, black should take on e4 and is winning after queen g3 checkmate threat on h2 and you know only one way how to stop this threat is to take a knight but you know at the end there is checkmate and that was the reason why this position is dangerous and probably lost for white yes maybe white saw everything and for this reason played bishop e4 with hope that he will defend and survive but he is wrong my friends he black played queen h4 with the same threat and now i'm going to show you a few variations because that's exactly what i called chess beauty and one of the most beautiful chess game played ever hope you agree and still you're watching this video because at the end you will see one of the most immortal chess position in chess history so um h3 doesn't help at all because uh, black should sack a rook and now what white should play that's a hard and difficult question and answer it's uh, not easy of course answer is that white is completed lost okay uh, if white is taking on g4 check on h3 okay um, here if white is taking by a g pawn is a check and rook d2 of course this position is absolutely lost for white first position first variation and we are still waiting for second and second is here of course for one more time um say variation h3 sec on c3 and uh, i believe that this move makes a sense but check and here is a check and a check and of course this position is not only winning it's following in the next couple moves white's king is checkmated you don't believe me let's watch this variation check check and checkmate on g6 and that was the first variation where white's king was checkmated right okay uh, we have another variation waiting for us so after move h3 second c3 there's a chance to take uh, this rook by a bishop but okay what now if uh, white is taking on e4 same variation same checkmate uh, queen g3 following checkmate on h2 or on h4 so i understand that here maybe right now uh, white's queen is taking on g4 but check and rook d3 
You know, there is not only hanging bishop on c3, but there is a waiting for white big surprise. Okay, for example, is going to g2, and now he is going to lose game and position because this position is one for black. Okay, I agree that. That were only variations, and our main game after Queen H4 um, is going with move G3. Now this sec is of course well known, and we understand. And now what we don't understand is this position: how Black is winning here. You know, um, Black sack a queen. And he's still going because he sag another rook, rook d2. That's an immortal position and, you know, hard to believe that everything is uh, working and that uh, black is not mad because he sag everything. Okay, so just to take here, that's a checkmate or big, big material loss for white. So for this reason, uh, white accepted this rook. Here is a check on e4, and now final beautiful move. Here is rook h3. Just enjoy this position for a few seconds. Just enjoy this move for a few seconds because this is a beautiful position and that's a good chance to remember Akiba Rubinstein as one of the strongest chess players in chess history. Say you well done to Akiba because this is something amazing, you know, amazing move Uruk H3 and White resign it. Of course, if White is taking um, on E4, there is a checkmate. If he is not taking on E4, he is a checkmate as well. And you know, nothing else is there. Then White is completely lost, and <laughs> we saw. One of the most exciting chess game ever. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if yes, feel free and give me like or give me follow and made my day. I did my best. Thank you very much for watching this game. Hopefully you enjoyed and I am looking forward to see you here, you next time. Okay, thank you, take care, bye bye.